I'm Kayla Kay. These are the trends of last week. I mean, not last week, but the week before that, but whatever. This is The Deadbeat. April 10th was National Siblings Day. There's a day for everything now, isn't there? Today, for example, or Saturday, was uh, National Lineman Day, National Columnist Day, Poem in Your Pocket Day, and Animal Crackers Day. There are at least 134 of these types of observances in April alone. Anyway, I'd like to shout out to the entire Deadbeat audience. You know, mom, dad, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for your support. I'd also like to thank those of you who chose not to post 30-year-old family photos featuring your older brother's sideburns and your mother's Tom Selleck mustache to Facebook. Funny coincidence or natural timing? Game of Thrones season five came out only two days after National Siblings Day. Two of the show's main characters are a brother and sister whose love knows no bounds, and whose whiny offspring Joffrey was the abusive, manipulative king for most of the previous seasons. Speaking of self-entitled despots clamoring for power without regard to the true well-being of society, the head of the Clinton household, Hillary, announced that she would be vying for the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. The last time Hillary ran for president, some pretty great things actually happened. The Simpsons made a movie, Mad Men premiered, as did The Big Bang Theory, Radiohead released In Rainbows, the first iPhone came out, and Paris Hilton went to jail. Of course, we may have to take some of the bad with the good. The Sopranos final episode aired that year, deleted emails, JK Rowling published the last book of the Harry Potter series, Benghazi, Keeping Up with the Kardashians premiered, and Bill Clinton is a selfish and philandering idiot. Speaking of Bill, here's a video of a chimpanzee taking out a camera drone. Ugh, there really is a day for everything. April 15th was tax day. Oh, wait, that's actually a thing. <laughs> that's right, anyone who actually pays taxes had to have them filed by then, just like last year and the year before that. By the way, if the feds took out three grand over the course of the year in taxes, and then you filed and received $4,500 back, you didn't actually pay any taxes. You're on welfare. Marco Rubio has announced his bid for the Republican nomination. His tax plan changes the tax rates to 15 and 35 percent and all but abolishes the IRS. Can you say no more lost lowest learner emails? Better yet, can you say no more lost lowest learner emails five times fast? Hip-hop artist Drake collaborated with Madonna and apparently did not approve of their mashup. Drake seemed surprised and a bit sickly after the 57-year-old queen of pop, I'm sorry, can we please start calling her the grandmother of pop? Blessed him right on the mouth on stage at Coachella 2015 without his permission. I wonder what Madonna was thinking during this whole thing. Just start voguing, old girl, just start voguing. Yeah, buddy, I sometimes gross myself out too. Wow. I've never seen someone get so sick so soon after a makeout with me. Let's go get tested together. Nobody minded my kisses before, and I've done lots of kissing. Lots and lots and lots of kissing. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. I'll bet Drake probably knew just what she was up to the night before. Drake later apologized for his reaction to being mouth raped. Jemima Kirk of HBO's show Girls disclosed in an interview that she had an abortion years ago and isn't sorry. It sounded like the most difficult part of the ordeal for her was finding the money to pay for her anesthesia and that she intended on allowing chaos into her life. I mean, who wants their pesky kid around while you're preparing to play a promiscuous homewrecking drug addict? Not me. I want to see Lena Dunham throwing a proper director's fit on set. Cut, cut, cut. Jemima! Your dumb baby's getting into the cocaine again. How do you expect me to deliver this classy production with you always changing diapers and stuff? Didn't you watch my birth control commercial? You never watched it, did you? All right, fine. Let's try the scene where you lie about sleeping with your best friend's husband again without your freaking baby crying this time, please. What do you do when you decide to keep your baby after taking RU486, you know, the abortion pill? 
It's possible that taking progesterone after taking mifepristone will reverse the effects of the abortifacient. What about the side effects? The American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians stated, as of March 31st, 89 babies have been born and dozens more unborn babies are alive following progesterone reversal of mifepristone. Only one minor birthmark has occurred in this group thus far, and it doesn't appear to be related to either drug. More than 200 physicians are a part of the national network providing this service to women. Hashtag bring back our girls made a major appearance on social media this week since it's the one year anniversary of the kidnapping of at least 200 girls by Boko Haram in Chibok. Let it serve as a reminder, especially since they're still missing and it's believed that over 2,000 people have been abducted by Boko Haram in the years since. News like Boko Haram's abductions and ISIS sweeping across the Middle East executing anyone that disagrees with them makes Madonna, Game of Thrones, and most of our pop culture trends seem very small and extremely worthless. Women as young as five years old are being kidnapped and used as sex slaves every day. We need to do everything we can to put a stop to it. And we need to pray. That's it for this week. On The Deadbeat, I'm Kayla Kay.